Peter, Gamora. Kind of busy, Rocket. You need to know this! That ship you're heading towards, it's Kree. Commanded by someone named Hala the Accuser. Kree? But their planet was destroyed. I thought they were extinct. You ain't wrong. That ship, those people, shouldn't exist. Well, I'm looking right at it. Right behind you. Gamora! <sighs> Thanks. Anytime. <sighs> Looks clear. Get moving. Uh, would be nice if you'd fill me in here. Yesterday, that relic was nothing to you. I mean, you drank out of it. Now you're blindly chasing it into a Kree warship? What aren't you telling me? I... I don't understand. Back on the Milano, it showed me something. Uh, a vision. I was back home. And it felt so... Real. My mom told me to come find her. You saw your dead mom? In a dream? We don't know what this thing is. It could be affecting you. Something about this doesn't sit right with me. Look, we just need to get the relic back. All right, Peter. Whatever you say. Rocket, how are the engines looking? Not great, Pete. The old girl's seen better days. Hey, Groot, don't stick your roots in that. Hey, Drax. Peter, is the slaughter glorious over there? Spare no gruesome detail. I haven't run into anyone yet. Oh, good. I am less envious now. weird. What is it? My scanner isn't picking up anything. It's like nobody has been through here in a long time. Those are pictures of... This is more tomb than warship. Don't let your guard down, Gamora. There's gotta be some Kree still alive. Yeah. We did see them on Nowhere. So where are they? What's up, Gamora? Ah. <laughs> well, between being attacked by a Kree warlord, selling Thanos to the Collector, and now this, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. It's just one thing after another. Do you ever get tired of worrying all the time? Someone has to balance you out. Feel free to pitch in any time and I will gladly take a break. Those glyphs are Kree. But I can't make out what it says. I can. Much better. Hey, 
ship of only a 6% crew efficiency. That... is a lot of dead folks. The bridge. Hala's gotta be there. Which means, that's where the relic is. Hala would be expecting a direct attack. We need to find a way in there without being seen. to access way 36 stasis pods now offline people agree to many uh, whoa my bad they can't get any debtor i guess there will be guards beyond the main door we have to find another way in we can't risk anyone alerting Hala. Hey, Kamora. I'm game if you are. Perfect. Lead the way. Do not worry, sweet one. You shall be back by my side soon. Once we return home, the process can begin. Few survive an encounter with me and return for more. Peter Quill. It's pronounced Star-Lord. One more step and she dies. It will be easy to... <sighs> remove her head. Do not test me. Wait, 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 wait! Don't hurt her. Very well. <gasps> I cannot lose my son again. You will not take him from me. I have been searching for so long. I lost someone too. Someone I loved. I am sorry. But this is much larger than a single life. 
Thanos eradicated my people. Destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have no idea what this means to me. To the Kree, our rightful place in the stars shall be restored. Your people, they... they're all dead. That relic can't help them. Not if the myths are true. You really do not know how this works, do you? The forge requires a sacrifice. Would you kill someone to bring a loved one back? No. I'd never do that. I thought as you once did. Until everything was taken from me. Billions of Kree have died. Bringing them all back will require many sacrifices. I will not rest until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you. No! with me, Peter. Hey! Peter! What happened? Are you... I... am Groot? I don't know, buddy. I hope so. Hey, guys. This is your fault, Green Witch. You allow him to die. As if you could have done any better. Either of you. Yeah, go on. Blame the guy who rescued you. Peter? Peter, no.
I'll give you some time to say goodbye. You know, your mom would smack you upside the head she saw you moping over her like this. Quills ain't no little babies. The hell do you know, mister? You don't know my mom, and you don't know me. I know a lot more than you think. You better pull it together, boy, because I'm the closest thing you got to family right now. Now let's get. I don't want to be on this planet any longer than I have to. What the hell are you? What? What? <laughs> Will, ain't you got a scroat on you? The name's Yandu Udanta. Your ma wrote me into taking care of you if something ever happened. Something happened. Now, you can come with me easy, or am I gonna have a fight on my hands? Won't do you much good. You're a bony little scrap of nothing. I can take you without needing to lift a finger. If I go with you, what's in it for me? Not being alone, you'll be part of my crew. So what's it gonna be? I I'm not going anywhere with you. Come here! Uh, hey! You keep this up, and I'm gonna have to eat you! What? Don't worry, my little Star-Lord. I'm here to help you. It'll be all right. Mom. Is that really you? You'll understand soon. Mom? Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you.
this thing recording? Okay, so, yeah. I thought once Thanos was kaput, we'd have to change our name. Heroes of the Galaxy. Partyers of the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, but the thing about this place? It never stays guarded for long. As soon as Hala found out we had the Eternity Forge, we shot up to Numero Uno on her murder list. Yes, dying hurt, a lot. What kind of question is that? I am Dad, built. you know what, buddy? Why don't I feel these questions? Since we're putting this on record, it was a brilliant idea to pawn off Thanos. We got paid the big bucks, the Collector has a brand new exhibit, everyone's happy. Except Gamora, but she's never happy. Oh, ho, Quill's been a pain in my ass since day one. Since minute one when he came aboard my ship. Soon as he showed up at my hideout, I could tell he got himself in some kind of trouble. The Kree ain't folks you want to mess with. I thought I could keep my distance from Nebula, avoid a confrontation with her. I was wrong. Once she found out what the Eternity Forge could do, everything it could do, there was no stopping her. I'm gonna use an Earth analogy here, so just bear with me. The Guardians, we're like the Beatles. I'm John, Gamora is Paul, Rocket is Ringo, Drax is George, and Groot, well, well, Groot is just Groot. It's, it's, it's not a perfect analogy, all right? <laughs> we yell, sure. We fight. But damn, do we make beautiful music. I just hope I can keep the band together. Or this galaxy doesn't stand a chance.